Hey everybody, it's Susan with Ocean Wide Travel. I'm so excited, get ready, because today I'm going to take you on the quickest, most informative tour of Royal Caribbean's Symphony of the Seas. And we're going to start off right here in the gorgeous main dining room, which offers a new menu every single day. So there's always something exciting and new for you to try. Now this ship has a whopping 22 dining venues for you to choose from, each with its own unique flair. But just keep in mind that only about half of those restaurants are actually included in the price of your cruise. The other half will cost a little extra. This next restaurant is called Azumi and they offer two different dining experiences. On the right side are the hibachi tables where you can watch the most incredible chefs showing off their culinary skills and amazing cooking techniques. Over on the left half of the restaurant, you can order off a Japanese a la carte menu featuring sushi rolls, sashimi, and traditional Japanese entrees. Plus they have a really nice selection of sake, beer, and wine as well. Here we have the Casino Royale. For those of you who are feeling a little lucky and want to roll the dice while on vacation, or maybe enter an exciting tournament, this is going to be the place to do it. You're going to find hundreds of slot machines along with tables for blackjack, roulette, three card poker, craps, and ultimate Texas hold'em. Now if you're someone who's always wanted to learn how to play these games, but you're just a little unsure on how to get started, be sure to check out your daily cruise compass for complimentary lessons that'll help teach you the ins and outs of these games. After all, it's a lot more fun when you know how to play. And this is the Diamond Club, you guys. It is private and it is only accessible to members of Royal Caribbean's Crown and Anchor Society who have logged a minimum of 80 or more nights at sea. Now, if you're not a member yet, be sure to sign up because it's completely free. And the more you cruise with Royal, the more perks and benefits you're gonna gain along the way. Across the hallway is the attic. Now, if you're looking for something fun to do, this will be your go-to place. At night, it's a really fun dance club, but prior to that, they use it for their stand-up rated R comedy shows. Yes, you heard me correctly, rated R. Now, in order to attend those shows, you have to be at least 18 years or older. And across the way is Studio B, where you can catch ice skating productions performed by world class skaters. And if you're feeling a little adventurous yourself, you can even test out your own skills. Royal typically opens the venue at scheduled times and lends out ice skates to anyone interested in trying. Personally, I took ice skating lessons as a child and I haven't been on the ice in forever, but I gave it a try and it's kind of like riding a bike. Somehow you just remember how to do it. Directly in front of us is the Royal Theater, which happens to be the main theater on board where they will wow you over with award-winning entertainment. Currently, they're running Broadway's hit musical Hairspray, and I'm talking about the full Broadway production. It is the real deal, you guys, not just a fun little musical number. It's gonna run close to an hour and a half in length, so definitely put that on your to-do list and make your reservations for it well in advance because without reservations, you will run the risk of missing out on that performance. And here's a little bonus tip. If you're looking to cherry pick your perfect seats, then I'd suggest arriving about 30 minutes before your show is set to begin. Over here is Jazz on 4, and this is where they're going to feature jazz and blues bands playing a wide range of classical numbers as well as new and more experimental pieces. As you can see, the decor in here is made up of dark woods, plush seating, and warm lighting. This is all to give you that classic jazz club ambiance. It is a smaller lounge, so if jazz is something that just feeds your soul, definitely plan on arriving a little bit early. Directly ahead of us here is Boleros. Now this is a Latin themed nightclub and they feature a dance floor along with a live band each evening. They have some of the best signature cocktails in here including several types of mojitos, daiquiris and hurricanes. And just across the way is Starbucks Coffee where you can go to fuel up for another amazing day in paradise. But keep in mind Starbucks will cost a little bit extra. As I mentioned earlier, some of the venues on board are not included in the price of your cruise and Starbucks happens to be one of those. Directly ahead of us is the Bionic Bar, which features those two amazing robotic bartenders named Shaken and Stirred, who will gladly make a variety of customized cocktails and mocktails just for you. Simply use the tablets to customize your drinks, then sit back and watch as they mix, shake, and serve up your creations. This next area ahead of us is used for booking shore excursions and viewing your professionally taken photos. Now, I strongly suggest you book your excursions ahead of time, but for those of you who maybe did not, definitely head over there as soon as you board the ship because the most popular excursions are going to fill up the quickest. 
And here we have the Schooner Bar. Now this is the best spot on board for live piano music. You can order drinks, make song requests, and believe me, after a couple cocktails, you're gonna find yourself singing Piano Man along with a dozen of your newest best friends on board. And straight ahead here is the entrance to the boardwalk. This is where you're gonna find that nostalgic carousel with 18 beautiful hand-carved animals, each adorned with colorful and intricate designs. Alongside is the dog house, where you're gonna grab some of the best gourmet hot dogs and sausages on board. Just across the way, you're gonna find the Playmakers Arcade, which features classic and modern games, including racing games, shooting games, and redemption games, where you can earn tickets to redeem for exciting prizes. Now for all you thrill seekers, those brightly colored tubes in front of us, those are the 100 foot drop slides known as the Ultimate Abyss. Off to the left, you'll find Johnny Rockets, where you'll get the best malts and burgers on board, and directly across is Playmaker Sports Bar, where you can watch your favorite sporting events on large screen TVs and enjoy a fun selection of food and drinks. Now, just beyond these Ultimate Abyss slides, you're gonna find the Aqua Theater, where you're gonna see some of the world's best extreme athletes, and I'm talking about Olympic caliber talent. This show is included in the cost of your cruise, just be sure to log into your cruise planner and make those reservations ahead of time. Also, and this is so important, you guys, a week before your trip begins, remember to finish the online check-in process and print out your luggage tags. I want you to print one for each piece of luggage you're planning to bring. Me, personally, I am not willing to risk losing my belongings because the paper tag I printed ripped and fell off my luggage handle, so I always purchase plastic sleeve covers to securely hold those luggage tags to my luggage handle. And I strongly suggest that you guys do the same. They're super affordable and they will reduce the risk of you losing your luggage. I'm going to provide a link to them below, so please be sure to order a couple for yourselves. At the top of these stairs is where you'll find the fitness center, which is free for you to use. They have a wide selection of exercise machines, including the latest cardio and resistance equipment. Or for an additional fee, you can sign up for one of their fitness classes. They offer yoga, Pilates, spinning, and kickboxing. Keep in mind though that you have to be at least 16 years or older to use the facility. Oh, and here's one more luggage tip for you guys. If you really wanna keep a close eye on your belongings, then get yourself an Apple Ear Tag. Place one into each one of your bags. That way you can always track the exact location of your belongings right from your iPhone. I'm gonna put a link down below so you guys can grab one of those as well. And this is Vitality at Sea, where you can treat yourself a little special with a plethora of spa treatments. They offer massages, wraps, facials, acupuncture, or you can get your hair and nails done for a special night on board. They also have Botox, body sculpting, and teeth whitening too. There's a lot to choose from. Just remember to pre-book your appointments ahead of time or shortly after boarding the ship because the most popular times will fill up quickly. Through these doors, you're gonna find Central Park where several of the specialty dining restaurants are located along with a very special little wine bar called Vintages. Now, if you're a wine connoisseur, this is gonna be your go-to place. It's where you can sample wines from some of the most famous vineyards in the world. And right next door is where you're gonna find Jamie's Italian, which offers a menu filled with Tuscan-inspired dishes. Now, if you are a pasta lover, this is gonna be your go-to place. They make their pasta fresh in-house every single day. And if you're in the mood for a deli classic, then head over to the Park Cafe and grab yourself a quick bite to eat. They have made to order salads, soups, freshly pressed paninis, and sandwiches too. It is free for all guests to dine here and they are open for breakfast, lunch, and afternoon snacks as well. In front of us here is 150 Central Park, which offers an upscale dining experience with a modern, sophisticated ambiance. Their menu features contemporary American cuisine with a focus on seasonal and locally sourced ingredients. And just across the way, you will find Chops Grill, which is my personal favorite. It's where you can dine on premium cuts of beef, like filet mignon and New York strip steak. They also offer other classics like grilled lamb chops, lobster bisque, and cream spinach. Oh, plus they have a great variety of seafood and vegetarian options too. 
Now this area is called Dazzles, and it's where you can take in some of the most beautiful views of the boardwalk area down below. During the day, it's the perfect spot if you just want to find a quiet area to relax, read a book, and sip on a drink. But at night, they're going to transform it into a dance club with a live band or DJ, and there's a nice spacious dance floor here for you guys to use. There's also signature cocktails offered over there at the bar along with beer, wine, and spirits, and some light snacks for you to enjoy. Oh, and speaking of snacks, here's a not so fun little fact about cruising in general. Guess how many pounds the average cruiser will gain over seven nights sailing? Well, it's estimated to be somewhere between five to 10 pounds, depending on factors such as eating and drinking habits, physical activity level, and overall lifestyle choices during their sailing. So needless to say, this is one of the many reasons where you're gonna find me always climbing the stairs. And straight ahead on our right hand side, you're gonna find Wonderland, which is a truly special place where you're gonna get treated to a whimsical and fun-filled dining experience. Now this restaurant offers a kaleidoscope of gourmet dishes, making it the perfect choice for anyone who's craving something a little out of the ordinary. Whether you're a true foodie or simply somebody who loves culinary creativity, you're definitely going to agree that there is something wonderful about Wonderland. Now the experience doesn't even stop at the food. The wait staff, well, they're a show unto themselves as well. They dress in costume and they perform little acts of whimsy all throughout the meal. Basically, they make everything even a little extra magical too. Overall, Wonderland, it's unique, it's memorable, it's a wonderful dining experience, and it's going to appeal to anybody who's looking for something different, unexpected, and a little special. So if you're an adventurous eater, definitely make your reservations in advance. It is a specialty restaurant and will cost a little extra to dine there, but I think you're going to love it. And this is Seven Hearts. It's kind of a multi-purpose room where you can go log on to one of the computer stations and stay connected. Just keep in mind, you will have to purchase an internet package to do so. It also doubles as a card room too, and you can play board games, card games, and I believe they even have bridge tournaments in there as well. It is open 24 hours a day, so feel free to take advantage of that area whenever you have a little extra time on your hands. Next, we're heading toward the nine hole mini golf course, which is free for you guys to use. The clubs and the golf balls are provided at no extra charge and you can play as many rounds as you want. It is open 24 hours a day, so you can play under the sun or under the stars. It is completely up to you guys. And here on our left is the first of two flow riders. Basically, these are surf simulators that'll give you the thrill of surfing on the open sea, but in a safe and controlled environment. And that angler fish on the right there, that is the entrance to the ultimate abyss. Over here on our left is the second flow rider surf simulator. Now, if you wanna give it a try, keep in mind there are height restrictions. You must be at least 52 inches tall to boogie board and 58 inches to stand up surf. Also, be sure to wear something that won't easily fall off you since the force of the water is fairly strong. So ladies, I'd highly suggest wearing a one-piece swimsuit or a two-piece that was specifically designed for these type of water activities. That super cute bikini that you bought for this trip might not be the best option for the flow rider. Here on our left is El Loco Fresh, where you can enjoy some classic Mexican dishes such as tacos, burritos, and nachos. The food is prepared fresh and served quickly, making it really convenient if you're just looking for a quick bite to eat. And this is the Challenger Video Arcade. Now, I would suggest you purchase your arcade credits in advance from within your cruise planner since you can typically get them at a discounted rate that way. Just know that once you depleted all your credits on board, you can continue playing by simply swiping your CPass card. So depending on your child, you might wanna set up a daily spending limit with them to stop them from treating the arcade like their own little kitty casino. And this straight ahead of us is Splashaway Bay, which was designed specifically for young children and families. It features water-based activities that are both safe and exciting for all the little sailors on board. Now, in addition to Splashaway Bay, there are three other swimming pools on board the ship. The first one here on our right side is called the Beach Pool, and it is the only one that is filled with salt water. It also has a nicely sloped entry point as well. The other main pools on board are gonna be filled with fresh water. Through these doors ahead of us is the entrance into the adults only solarium. And by adults only, I'm actually referring to guests who are 16 years of age and older. 
And here's where you'll find the Slurium Buffet, which offers a healthy yet delicious selection of items for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're going to find salads, fruits, grilled meats, and fish, along with a variety of other hot and cold dishes. They also feature a juice bar where you can get healthy and refreshing drinks as well. Honestly, the Slurium, it's a little slice of heaven here on board. Between the panoramic views of the sea below and all the comfy loungers and day beds, it just feels like paradise. Plus, there's several hot tubs located throughout, making it just that much more relaxing and it's climate controlled too you guys so regardless of the weather outside they keep it at just the perfect temperature in here and on our right side is where you're going to find a cantilevered whirlpool hot tub this extends about 12 feet off the side of the ship making for some pretty spectacular views of the ocean and on our left those blue and yellow tubes are the perfect storm water slides which run right up to the main pool where you're going to enjoy live music dance parties pool games belly flop competitions honestly the list just goes on and on and this next pool here on our left side is the sports pool where they have a lot of organized pool games like pool volleyball, water polo, and other water-based challenges as well. Now, anyone who's ever cruised before, we all know that when it's a full day at sea, that the chairs and the loungers will fill up quickly on the pool decks. So to help alleviate that issue, if the crew notices that you've left your belongings on a chair unattended for more than 30 minutes and there is no sign of you anywhere, they may very well remove your belongings and place them into the lost and found. So heads up to you guys, just be mindful of how long you actually step away from your belongings for. Now this area is a specialty restaurant. It's called Hook Seafood and it's where you're gonna feast on lobster rolls, seafood towers, oysters, fish and chips. Honestly, the list goes on and on. Plus there's also a bar area here with a really nice selection of beer, wine and cocktails for you. And speaking of wine, not everybody knows this, but each adult can bring one bottle of their favorite wine or champagne on board during embarkation. However, it has to be the standard 750 milliliter size. If you're gonna go this route, then get yourself some protective sleeves to prevent your wine bottles from accidentally breaking and kind of ruining the start to your vacation. I'm gonna put a link below in the description section for the ones that I actually own and use. Grab one for yourself, you guys, they are reusable. So if you're gonna purchase tequila, rum, or wine at one of your ports of call, you can safely pack it back up for your return trip home. Now this is where you're gonna find the entrance into the Windjammer. The Windjammer, in a nutshell, is the largest and most popular buffet on board. So if you're simply looking for a casual dining experience, you can come up here all day long and well into the evening. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner and offer tons of options, including everything from American and international cuisine to vegetarian and gluten-free options as well. Some of the more popular dishes would be their made-to-order omelets and waffles for breakfast, the carving station for lunch and dinner, and most importantly, that extensive dessert selection. Alrighty, you guys, I love this ship and it's been a pleasure showing it off to you. Hopefully you had a little bit of fun on this tour too. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel and check out the description section below to purchase your luggage tag sleeves, Apple air tags, and even those wine bottle protectors. You're also going to find those items listed on our website as well at oceanwidetravel.com. It has been a pleasure as always. So until next time, take care.